Like that. Pro. First thing Gio does when she gets off the plane is to get a sign of <laughs> welcome to Japan. But you, it froze. You big cuny. <laughs> Look, this is what I, this is what I get. Aww. Oh wow. <laughs> look at how organized Gina's Ooh, luggage is. Okay, okay, got it. But what I do. It doesn't look, look like. Too. It doesn't look like she packed everything in five seconds before the flight. It doesn't. It looks like she planned for at least three weeks straight strategically. <laughs> she has a Pikachu outfit to match her Pikachu pillow. You never know. I need to belong in the city. Okay. Everybody Are your clothes knows. even clean? Yes. All right. Everybody needs to know that I am here. Okay. Oh, I can't find my gloves. We get a freaking bus. There's so many of us. I've never driven or rode on a bus when we traveled with JK before. That's how we roll. We got big soon. Do you know how many people we flew out this time? Yeah, look at all these passports. Holy moly. <laughs> how many people do you think we flew out this time? Like 15. Wow. Station tomorrow and get everyone's passes. Cool. For the Shinkansen, just take that. This is so cool. So if you guys don't know, um, every year, at the end of the year, we do a company JK trip where me and Joe, we fly out everyone and we do different things. And every year, um, as the company grows, we try to do bigger and more fun things. And it started off with just like a really small Vegas trip. Then the year after that, we rented one of those big Bellagio suites that's like 2,000 square feet where there's like twice as many bathrooms and bedrooms just because that's how big the suite is. And then uh, last year we went to Hawaii, and then this year we went to Japan. So this is really cool that as the company grows, we get to spread the fun and kind of reward everyone that's been working so hard. And everyone voted on Japan. We actually voted which country we want to go to. Greece is on the table, Egypt is on the table, uh, some parts of uh, South America is on the table, but everyone ended up voting on Japan. And then so I'm really happy that me and Joe were able to fly out everyone, the whole company, even extended JK, like Gina and David, to all come out and uh, go to Japan and I'm really excited because this is the first time I've ever been to Japan so this is going to be awesome <laughs> we are driving we're driving through the streets of Tokyo right now and uh, first of all we're on the left hand side and that's the way they roll out here but the thing that impresses me the most is how clean the streets are there's like no gum on the streets. There's no trash in the curb or in the gutter. It's super clean this whole place. It's insane how clean it is. Kind of reminds me of Taiwan. This place reminds me of like a way cleaner Taiwan. Yeah, it's like a brand new city or something. Because Taiwan is this, but with stray dogs and trash on the floor. Yeah, it's normal. This is abnormally clean. It's super clean. It looks like they just washed the floors. Yeah. It has that after rain look. It does, huh? You feel like all the cars are clean out here, too. What the hell is there a crooked? Oh, no, that was a reflection. I thought I saw a crooked restaurant. Oh, there's a restaurant over there. That's behind you. Look how cute this street is, Ma Bear. Are you really here, Rick? Yeah, you big cutie, you double luggage puller. Oh, this piece of trash ruined my shot. God damn it. Oh, damn, even the sewer caps are nice. That's fucking sick. Japan's so interesting because um, there's just these random vending machines in the middle of alleyways. Like, there's nothing going on, and then all of a sudden, there's a vending machine. That's really cool, though, because then it makes like getting little snacks and drinks really convenient, but oh my God, look how fucking clean this alleyway is. It's so crazy how clean it is. This would be smelling like piss in America, or at least in LA. Japan is so clean and so convenient. There's all these little vending machines, this is crazy. So we finally made it to our room, and I think we might have the biggest room because we got the two biggest people. Yeah, well, not, I'm not the biggest. I'm the longest for sure, but you're the biggest. But look how long your arm is. Stick your arm up. Stick your arm up. Yeah, yeah, but that's not big. This is just small. But you take up a lot of space. No, I, I'm long. Yeah, you're long, which also increases surface area. 
lengthwise, which is fine. So three, I could sleep with Tiff and Gina in this bed. Yeah. Right, so I'm not big. You're big. You alone take up more than half of this bed. So you can't call me big. <laughs> you always don't want to be called big, but you're I'm like not the, big. I'm you're, long. You're a big ass fucking lady. I'm long. Don't call me big. I'm you're, long. You're a big cuny. <laughs> okay. So you got a stack of freaking pillows and stuff here, and uh, yeah, I think I might call it for a night. We might get something to eat just because we're hella tired. It's like yeah. oh, eleven o'clock now. Which is like 4 a.m. for us. Which is 4 a.m. for us, but I'm glad that I am tired because that means I won't be jet lagged and when it's time to sleep, I'll be able to sleep. And uh, tomorrow, I'll give you guys a tour of our place. And I'll give you a thorough tour because this house is small, but also cute as shit. Mm -hmm. True. You want me to tuck you in? No, I tuck you in at night. You have to tuck me up. Big cutie. I'm, I'm long, not, not big. So tourists, look at all these guys. Thank you, Tomo. So, uh, we're wandering around the streets right now. And it's uh, pretty much 11.30 or 11 o'clock at night. And it's hard to find anything that's open or that can fit like 10 to 12 people. And we just stumbled up across this ramen shop. And I'm trying to communicate with him, but I don't speak Japanese. And he doesn't speak English. And it's not even the, that language that you can kind of guess. Like, if we go to Latin America and say, like, I wasn't with you, you can kind of get your way around. Yeah. You can, like, it's Latin-based. You can, you know, figure it out. But this is a completely different language that, like, we can't even guess words. So, so of, like, I used my fingers to say there's 12. Well, first I said, can we come in? And he nodded. And now, because I was just trying to point, like, I was using, like, making up sign language. He said we could come in. Then I said, there's 12. And then he was like, holy shit. He had the holy shit look on his face. And just to make things simple, I pointed at this picture. I pointed at that picture. And I was like, 12. Is that okay? And then he was like, okay. So, with complete language barriers, we're able to communicate that we want 12 of those things. And that's what we're going to eat, just to make it simple. No one chooses anything. It's going to be the easiest way to order. And he's just going to go to town right now and make some food. Oh, who is already preparing the soup base? This, is, this looks bomb already. Oh, cool. Dang. So fast, he already made three batches of ramen. I'm gonna steal this guy's secrets and take it back to the States and call it JK Ramen. That looks pretty bomb, actually. It smells so good. This guy knows what he's doing. Watch it taste like shit. Hopefully, it doesn't. I'm hungry. Anything's gonna taste good right now. Boiled bean sprouts. Mmm. What's he throwing in there? Oh, more noodles. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's put little eggs in there. Mmm. Bamboo shoots. This guy's hooking it up. That's, what's that? Oh, little corns or something? And he's putting like little chashus in there. That looks pretty bomb. Yeah, he's putting little chashus in there. Damn, watching this is making my mouth water. It's 11.05? Oh. I'm glad the bowls are kind of big. I want to sit here and keep him happy. I'm going to be able to himself all night long. It's be boring. I mean, at least I have an Xbox in here or something. The presentation is pretty tight, too. Yeah, he hooks it up with seaweed. It's a gang of seaweed on that shit. It's so pleasant to walk down these streets that I feel like I can walk for an hour. And you never feel like you're in danger. No, I haven't felt like I need to like cover things and just be like, who's you know, like, That guy, we just met him. Oh. Did you just make up words? Thank you. 
I thought Tomo means thank you. Tomo is more like using it as an exchange. Like if I would exchange it for, like, oh, hey, where did I go to blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, you need to pay Tomo. Arigatama means is to a male, I think. Arigatama is to a female. I could okay. be wrong though, so. Is that one mine? Ooh. Alright. Alright, so this is my first taste of Japan in Japan. And I'm excited. I love ramen and I'm hungry, and someone just screamed on the TV in traditional Japanese form. And this is just randomly picked restaurant, too. Oh, that's good. It's really good. Here, babe. I was, I'm gonna turn my own right now. Oh. oh my god, that's delicious. It's great bomb. Oh my god, I can't wait. I don't have anything yet. Oh, I didn't even try it. It's just a random place too. Casey wants to know the noodle quality. Place. The broth. Is it al dente? Something about barbecue pork. Oh, Tassu. 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 pretty good. Yeah. It's not like the best, but it's pretty good. Mm. Is it better than Takuya and Shizuki? Yeah. By far. This is not so MSG. It's pretty yummy. How do you two like it? <laughs> I haven't had a bite yet. Oh my god, and we just walked in here like not knowing anything. How many things happened? Literally just picked this on the whim, don't know how to communicate, and it's I'm excited. You are? Finally. Oh yeah, look at you finish yours. I know, it's delicious. I'm just tripping out over the fact that smoking here while you eat. I know. That guy's smoking up a storm over there. They don't have the new U.S. laws yet. It is. Comfort food, huh? So perfect for the flight. And the weather. Good call whoever wanted this. I think Michael called the shots. We were supposed to go to this Chinese place. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to go to this Chinese restaurant that this, that this guy recommended because it was the only thing that was open. But when we walked by here, Michael's like, I want this now. And then good thing he was open. How is it? Pretty yummy? So damn good. The broth is my favorite part. So good. <clears throat> Having a slurp fest in here. But that's the proper way to eat though. Because if you don't slurp, it doesn't taste as good. You gotta aerate the food as it goes in your mouth. <laughs> When in Rome, make loud noises. No. No, this is the proper way. You go to Mexico to do that. When in Rome. That's why I said when in Rome. If you go to Mexico, that's a different Rome. So you adapt to their culture. But in this Rome, everyone slurps, and if you don't slurp, they're like, this guy doesn't know how to eat. Damn, look at that organic ass yolk. So yellow. This guy's slurping his fucking life away over there. <laughs> so afterwards, got to get a little dessert. Stopped by the 7-Eleven. And got this green tea mochi looking thing. And I love mochi. And uh, I grew up on it actually. And I want to try some mochi from Japan. It's so soft too. Oh man. Mmm. Red bean on the inside. Hold it, 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 hold it. Wow, it's so blurry. It's not focusing? No. But no. Wow. 
It's delicious. And there's Japanese locals playing something on their farm. Louder than he was. I was not. I don't snore. I sleep like a princess. Yeah, right. I sleep like this. 